Hey guys, in this video, we're going to answer someone's question, why selenium, which is a trace mineral, for a condition called Hashimoto's, okay? Hashimoto's is a hypothyroid condition. It's an underfunctioning thyroid condition, but it's an autoimmune condition, which is very different than other types of hypothyroid con conditions, whereby the body is attacking itself. So you have, here's the thyroid, and you have antibodies that are produced by the body attacking itself, keeping the thyroid from functioning normally, okay? Now, selenium is involved in producing and creating key enzymes for various functions. One function would be the conversion from T4 to T3, okay? Number two, mercury detoxification. Now, mercury has a lot of affinity for um, the thyroid. So selenium would be very important to bind with mercury to allow mercury to pass through the body and not get stuck in the thyroid. And by the way, selenium is most concentrated in the thyroid gland. So we need selenium for various functions. But number three, and most importantly, selenium will decrease certain antibodies related to the thyroid. Now, when you go to your doctor to get your thyroid evaluated, they're gonna look for uh, various things, okay? One is called anti-TBOAB, which is anti-thyroid peroxidase antibodies. So thyroid peroxidase is a certain type of enzyme that is used to make thyroid hormones, okay? So if you have antibodies that are attacking that enzyme, you're not gonna make thyroid hormones. So you can have an autoimmune disease against almost anything, against the receptors for cells, against hormones, against enzymes, against the gland tissue, et cetera, et cetera. So this is one factor that doctors use to uh, diagnose Hashimoto's. And the other thing that they're gonna look for is something called antithyroglobulin antibodies, okay? This is a protein, and they're gonna look at this because if you have antibodies against this protein, again, you're not gonna actually be able to make thyroid hormones. So in a lot of the videos that you'll see on the thyroid, it's always talking about iodine, right? But selenium is important. They're both important, but selenium is even more important in autoimmune conditions allows you to convert T4 to T3, which is the active form of thyroid hormone. It, in, it helps you to detoxify mercury, and it also helps you decrease the antibodies. So, vitally important. So I recommend you get selenium from a high quality supplement online or at the health food store. You can also increase your selenium by, by consuming Brazil nuts, uh, seafood, including oysters and shrimp, uh, high quality eggs and seeds. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.